Good day all, my name is Rudy Page and welcome to the first Homeward Bound Creativity show for Jamaica Diamond Jubilee 2022 and I am so pleased that our first guest is Gary McCook and we're going to learn a lot more about his organisation over the next few minutes. The Creativity Show, our focus is about creativity. Creativity is about unleashing the potential of the mind to conceive new ideas. It's about innovation. It's about, innov it's about introducing change into existing systems and structures and developing the competencies to make new ideas viable and also to translate them into economic value. And we believe entrepreneurs should join forces and combine their talents and business, model, business models across international boundaries and cultures. So please, I'm so pleased, Gary McCook, great to see you again. Hope all is well. All is well, Rudy. Good to see you again, uh, and um, thanks for having me. Thank you. So, Gary, tell us a bit about yourself and your and your background. Well, uh, born in uh, Jamaica, uh, the University Hospital, way back in uh, 1962. Actually, I'm a uh, Independence baby. Um, uh, moved. Uh, my family lived in the uh, Old Harbor. My dad was a vet, and my mom a teacher. So. Uh, we lived on the uh, uh, Ministry of Agriculture um, premises on Borders Old Harbor uh, through 1970. And then um, we moved to Harborview. So it's like moving from Old Harbor to Harborview. And uh, that was so interesting because in Harborview, you know, I think that's where I got the view and the vision. So that was a good move from Old Harbor to Harborview. Um, attended a primary school in Harborview, uh, went on to Kingston College. Uh, in 1973 through 78. Um, then went on to uh, College of Arts, Science and Technology for a year uh, with the intention of doing um, engineering, uh, but then uh, changed my mind and I became a uh, life insurance representative with um, Island Life Insurance Company, where I remained until uh, 1987 when I migrated uh, to the United States. Um, uh, so went straight to New York uh, lived in New York, uh, worked in the, the, uh, the parking industry. I was a general manager for a company called Edison Parking in uh, New York. And then um, uh, went co did college there, graduated from Jersey City State College uh, in 1995 with a Bachelor of Science in Marketing. And then um, we moved to uh, Georgia in uh, 2001. And uh, here I became a real estate agent in 2001 and then in 2008 I decided to uh, expand my horizon so um, uh, we opened a, a personal care home uh, where we take care of the elderly and um, have a facility that um, can uh, house uh, 10 individuals um, so here I am now um, uh, trying to spread my wings it's been always a people person uh, endeavor um, and so that's where we are right now here in Georgia. I've uh, been here for uh, going 21 years. Great, great, great. So tell us, what is J-I-I-F-S-C? Yes, so that's uh, a, a uh, competition that was launched uh, earlier this year. Well, we had it launched last December, December 18th, 2020. And then uh, we had a, a competition this year. So it's actually, we are in the, we are right now changing our name, making a minor name change. So uh, originally it was Jamaica International Independence Festival Song Competition. The, the minor change is uh, uh, re replacing the word festival with the word foreign. And I think um, when we lived in Jamaica, if you say you're going abroad, you're going to foreign. So I think it, it, it just ties into it. And with the word foreign going forward, uh, that helps us uh, with some clarity and uh, distinction from, from other competitions that are, 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 are running at the same time with us. So uh, as of today on your show, Rudy, 
It's going to be JIIFSC. We, we maintain the same acronym, but it's the Jamaica International Independence Foreign Song Competition. And um, basically, JIIFSC is setting a platform for us here in the diaspora who are, are artists who still love our reggae and still want to um, compete. So this is our uh, foreign competition. Um, and um, we, we will be uh, promoting it a whole lot going forward as we did last uh, this or earlier this year. So JIIFSC is alive and well, and with just one minor change, uh, festival has been replaced with the word foreign. Great, and of course, Fresh FM Radio London is also committed to rebroadcast all your content throughout the whole competition, and we certainly look forward to, to the grand final. So um, tell us about Gimme Jamaica, the, the theme song. Well, Gimme Jamaica, the theme song, I, I decided to do a theme song, um, which basically it says, Gimme Jamaica. It's, it's a love we have for country. Um, uh, most of us, a lot of us have uh, left the, our island in the sun and uh, we are residing abroad in uh, different countries, but we still have that love for Jamaica. So our, our motto actually is uh, loving you from afar. So Gimme Jamaica basically highlights and starts out by talking about the lowering of the, uh, the, 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 the British flag and the, 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 the raising of the Jamaica's uh, flag. Um, it, it talks about um, that we are in every continent you can think of, you can find a Jamaican. Um, I remember going to the World Cup soccer back in uh, 98 and stopped off in Germany. And um, lo and behold, there was a young lady coming down with her little child. And when she opened her mouth, we knew where she was from, the island of Jamaica. Um, the song also talks about uh, us being in a foreign country and that we should never forget our roots or where we came from. Uh, we also talk about uh, going back and visiting the, the, the best white sand uh, seas in the world and uh, uh, taking a little sip of the Jamaican white rum. So um, Gimme Jamaica uh, will always, it's gonna be, it's, it is a theme song. It, it, um, I use it as a standard for the artists in the last, in the commission we had recently as, as setting a bar for them to most likely exceed. And I think we, we achieved that goal. Thanks for that. So you mentioned the last competition. So, so what was the planning like for that? Very interesting, very nerve wracking. <laughs> um, we, we, my team and I were up uh, many nights until early morning. I remember sometime uh, we were up and I, I was even communicating and you were on because your fiber was ahead of us. And you would ask, what are you doing up? Uh, that was just us trying to get everything together. It was the first year. There were a lot of unknown. And uh, we had to just go through and venture and um, just use the expertise. Um, I had a very, um, very aggressive, intelligent and, uh, team uh, that I worked with. And um, we, we had, uh, I wouldn't say hiccups, but um, hindsight is twenty twenty, and you learn as you go along. Um, there were some little rough areas. Yeah. I remember um, when we were there waiting for uh, the first song uh, to be sent in. So every day they would call me and say, did you get anything yet? And no, no, and time was running off. And, you know, the, the nerves kicked in and, you know, but then we got the first song. So that was a celebration for us. Yeah. Uh, then we got the second song and we had promoted that uh, it would be the top 10. So we, we had to at least get 10 songs. <laughs> so um, it was interesting when we hit number 10, uh, that was another celebration. And it's interesting, the, the quality of songs that were coming in, because you know you're having a new competition and you're hoping that you get uh, a, a good caliber of song. You, you, you can't have mediocre. If you, if you start off with mediocre, then you, 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 you have a mediocre standard. And uh, we, we were hopeful and we were blessed to have uh, great songs that entered. And we actually uh, ended up having about 20 something songs, mm -hmm. which is a great feat um, seeing that we just started our promotion uh, in, uh, at the end of uh, March and um, the deadline was uh, May. 
Um, so uh, it was a very challenging, sleepless nights. Um, but again, with I, I realize in life that as an individual, don't think you can do it all. You need a team. And um, up until end of March, it was, uh, I, I keep saying it was three members on my team, me, myself, and I, which was not going to cut it. Uh, so I got a team um, uh, uh, established in uh, end of March. And uh, that is what uh, brought us through um, for a very successful uh, launch. And you, and you were happy with the overall winners then? So tell us a bit about the winners. and, and the Oh, winners. yes. Uh, we, happy is an understatement. Um, being an international competition, um, we had entrants from London, from, from Canada, from Germany. Our first song that was entered was a guy named King Noah out of uh, Germany. Um, and he was the first entrant, and um, the uh, we the, the winner the winner of the uh, inaugural was um, uh, Labiluja out of Canada, uh, singing a certified yardie, uh, which has gone on, and I have it's it's been playing all over the world. He's doing a good job. He's continuing to promote um, both certified yardie and JII FSC because we are the ones who basically gave him that opportunity to um, be um, uh, well-known. Um, the, the number two song was uh, by uh, uh, our local artist from uh, Georgia, Russ Fraser Jr. singing No Way Like Yard. Mm -hmm. um, so he, he was our second place uh, winner. And then we had um, Ragalocks. Ragalocks sang Reggae Island. Now all three songs, Certified Yardy, No Way Like Yard and Reggae Island, they all, lived up or maybe surpassed the, 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 what I wanted in terms of focusing on Jamaica. Um, one of the criteria was that the song had to have an international flavor. And um, uh, they, they did a, a, a resounding job. Um, we had um, uh, 12 finalists. We had 12 finalists. And then um, we were supposed to go down to a top five, but the songs were so good that I, I, I threw in two wild cards and, and made the finals a, um, a, a top seven. And um, we were fortunate and blessed that uh, although we had the COVID restrictions, we, we were able to um, uh, have 70 uh, Jamaicans and uh, folks from other islands in, 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 um, uh, at, the, at the actual um, uh, venue uh, to listen to the artists live. Um, six of the seven were present. Um, the one that was not present was out of um, London. Uh, she could not make it, um, but the other six artists were here. So it was a great feat to have them in, in person mm -hmm. because um, although we're doing a lot of Zoom, that, that, that feel and touch and see um, uh, was, uh, what, was what helped us to have such a, a resounding uh, first night. Excellent, excellent. So who were the judges and, and why a panel instead of, uh, you know, uh, voting for the winners by fans? Well, we, we, we had a great panel again, and that was a very, um, that was one of the things that we, we needed to have. We needed to have a, a, a great panel so um, individuals who are entering their songs uh, would feel comfortable that they, they're being judged by, if you want to say, their peers, Mm -hmm. or, or people who have been established in the music industry and could decipher what is a real festival song. Um, uh, we had a five judge panel, um, Rika Newell, who is a, a voting member of the uh, Recording Academy Grammy Awards, uh, was, um, was one of our judge, a uh, great young lady, um, came with a lot of a wealth of experience and um, uh, made our night successful. Um, Dr. Laxley Stevenson um, was a, uh, a judge also. He's the, uh, he, he has um, his label, he has his own label, Axing Record. So um, big ups to Rick and Newell, big ups to Dr. Laxley Stevenson from Axing Record. Um, we had um, our local talk show host here, uh, the renowned Wayne Hall. Um, mm -hmm. He was also a judge. Uh, Wayne has a very uh, great program on Wednesday nights, and I know he uh, rebroadcasts yeah. uh, with you in, in London on Friday, on, on Thursdays. 
Um, so Wayne was the other uh, judge. Um, we had um, Miss Mumsy, who is uh, a, a socialite. I mean, she she is uh, out there um, promoting a lot of. So she's more a promoter. And then we have last but not least Shelley Thunder. Uh, most people will remember her for her um, song "Man Forget Coof Forget Coof." Um, so that was our judge panel. Um, the reason why we went with a panel uh, versus a, a um, just fans voting is that we thought that to get the right song and the caliber, we needed not to have a fan vote because uh, at times when fans vote, they, it, it's more a popularity contest. Yeah. So you may not have the, 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 a true winner. You have a popular winner, but is that what you really wanted? And so we decided early on that, you know, it's gonna be a five judge panel. Um, we, we did have fan involvement where we, they, they, were, they were allowed to participate in the initial voting uh, for the top 12. So that went well. Uh, we had over uh, 2000 uh, fans across the world who, who voted for their favorite song uh, to get us to the, the, the top 12. So we, we, we are comforted that the, the, the winning song was the right song for our inaugural year. And um, it, it's, it's a history making event and the, the, song, the song did well and all the songs um, made our competition the success it was. Excellent, that, that sounds really great. And, and the, you, you're following the same process for 2022. Yes, we're going to follow the same process for 2022. And um, let me just expound a little on the judges. Mm. We have decided to have a, 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 if you want to say, a core group of judges remain. Um, so we will be um, inviting other judges. So at least uh, we have a different perspective, mm. uh, uh, look, looking at the, the, the songs entering from a, a different a vision, a different eyes, set of eyes. So um, last year we had some judges who actually um, dialed in wanting to be a part of our, our panel but by that time we had already selected the five judges so we plan to reach out to them this year and invite them to come on board and if we continue with that each year having a core and then having um, guest judges come on I think it, it does good for the competition it does good for everyone involved so that they see it's not just one set of people who are basically going to uh, uh, decide their fate. So that's the that's our goal for next year. Yeah, that, that sounds really good. So, is there a date and location for 2022, the Diamond Jubilee celebrations? Yes, uh, date has been set, and um, it's going to be July 30th. Um, and we're, we're trying to. It's going to be the last Saturday in July. Mm -hmm. So, whichever day that day falls, date that day falls. It's, it's going to, so we're trying to have it uh, a, a set day, um, a set day, the last Saturday in July. And uh, in 2022, it would be in July uh, 30th. Um, we are in um, a conversation with um, different venues. Um, there's one we have identified, but I cannot disclose the name at this time because it's not finalized as yet. But um, it, it's a venue that will hold uh, 450 to 500 fans, um, which would be a, a marked improvement from this year when we had 70, um, again, because of the COVID restrictions. So we're, we're excited. We're excited. Um, uh, the, the venue we're talking about is a venue that uh, a lot of us have been to in the past. So I, I know that the fans would welcome that because it's a place that they're familiar with. And they, they, and they, they. Um, I think it's it's going to be exciting. So July thirtieth, twenty twenty two, um, we'll have our show, and um, uh, looking forward uh, to what that brings. And, and that's in Atlanta. It's going to be in Atlanta. It's going to be in Atlanta. Excellent. And if people want to know more about the competition, could you just tell us how websites, social media, how, how you know how can they make direct contact with you? Okay, so um, they, they, if they go to link tree, that's L I N K T R E E forward slash J I I F S C, again, link L I N K T R E E 
forward slash J-I-I-F-S-C. That, that will take you to all our social media platforms, the YouTube, the IG, the Facebook, everything is there and um, our website. Um, so everything will be there. The website also is, is being revamped. It's going to have a, a, a slightly different look this year. And again, uh, I think you, as you go along, you have to progress uh, and you have to make some changes. In, in life, there's a thing called change without chaos. Mm -hmm. So if we make minor changes, it falls right in that realm of change without chaos. So we're making some minor changes. Um, uh, the website is going to be a little more user friendly um, based on feedback we got from last year. Um, so um, again, link tree forward slash J I I F S C. Excellent. And, and Homeward Bound Creativity Show will be following you all the way. So, you know, the run up, the, the artists, the judges, we look forward to, you know, in future shows for you to bring everybody on and for us to have a dialogue so that we can, um, you know, help amplify your message. And all these programs will be broad rebroadcast on Tresh FM Radio London. So just going back slightly, so the event it's, will be taking place in the city of Atlanta. That's, what That's correct. Just in case there's some of our diaspora in Atlanta at that time, may yes. you know, want to get a ticket. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We, we will welcome you. And I think this year, Rudy, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have people flying in this year. Last year, we, we, I mean, sorry, early this year, we had the request, but we, we didn't have the space to accommodate uh, so many folks. So um, we're going to make sure that this year we still follow the protocol, the COVID protocols. And um, we'll, we'll have people flying in and um, people have been calling me already and asking me what's going on, what's going on. I said, just wait, um, we, we had to do this, this name, the minor name adjustment before we did anything public. Um, so we can um, uh, get, get, the, get, the, get the ball on the road, get the show on the road. A absolutely. And I, I hope I could be there. Yes. So yes. The next year would actually be 40 years since I first went to Atlanta. Wow. Well, we'll we'll make sure you're here next year, sir. That's my um, anniversary. Yes, yes, we'll make sure you're here. And um, uh, yes, so we're looking forward to that. Looking forward to seeing you in person. Yeah, and in fact, um, I was there because, of course, as you know, years ago I was involved in the hair care industry. Yes. So forty years ago, the um, the number one show for for the whole of the black hair industry was mm. the Bronner Brothers show in Atlanta. So I worked for a company called Dyke and Dryden, uh, the largest company of its type in Europe. And there were two, two Jamaican di directors, Mr. Dyke, Mr. Dryden, and uh, one from Montserrat, Mr. Wade. And we actually had a, a, a visit over to Atlanta with 40 other businesses. And I would say um, 80, 85% of those business people were, you know, been born, born and in Jamaica, grew up in the, the UK. So it really was a, you know, a business trip, a Jamaican cultural visit to Atlanta. And, and in those days as well, you had a lot of uh, Jamaicans who, were, who worked for the American manufacturers. So a lot of the top executives in the hair care industry were actually from Jamaica. So we had always had that connection between UK, US, and Jamaica diaspora, you know, all meeting in different places around the world. So, so hopefully uh, we might see something like that again, because of course you've got lots of uh, people of Jamaican descent from the UK who live and work in Atlanta anyway, and have yes. for many yes. years. So yes, um, I think that's going to be a, a great celebration as well. Yeah, we have, we have, a, we have a lot of uh, different local um, organizations or chapters here yeah. that are doing a tremendous job. Yeah. Um, oh, Caribbean yeah. Association of Georgia, Atlanta yeah. Jamaica Association, yeah. Yeah. just to name a few that are very involved in the community, uh, show their love for uh, uh, Jamaica. And um, it's, 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 it's a good place to be right now yeah. um, uh, as, 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 a, as, you know, setting the foundation for, for the future. Yeah, and as we say that, I must mention my friend George Hamilton, Jamaican, he had a, has a business up here in the UK, catering business, Plantation Inn, still does business down in Atlanta as well. 
yes to see him yes. a few times so yes george hamilton and family wish you all the best and so finally then uh gary mm -hmm. um so what is the future for the competition so what's the big vision big vision all right and before there, there i i it would be a miss for me not to mention um our it person who was very instrumental uh, in our competition this year uh, none other than christine newton um also e parry hines from cool runnings uh he was our production manager so uh kudos to those two and um in uh, response to your, your question um jii fsc as i have said uh, I was going to say over the years, it's, it's not even a year <laughs> yet. We're here to stay. Yeah. It's, 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 I think, a great opportunity um, uh, that we, are, we now have a platform mm -hmm. that uh, artists of Jamaican descent, Jamaican and Jamaican descent, can uh, showcase their talent. Um, it's a talent that is here. It's just that they needed a platform and JIIFSC has um, provided that platform uh, for them. Um, we, we, uh, uh, we are trying to speak with like the AJA to say that the winner of the competition uh, will perform at their annual um, event, which is in August. So hopefully it, it will be, it's a trend that we're, we're trying to start um, and that, that, that should propel us uh, in, 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 in different levels or different yeah. areas. And the AJA? Um, AJA, who's that? Yeah, the AJA, yeah, yeah, Atlanta Jamaica Association. Okay. Um, one of our goals is to um, give back. Mm -hmm. um, in life, I think, giving back. And, and, and the new JIIFSC with the foreign, it's actually a, a 501c3 corporation. Um, so that way we can get the sponsors uh, that we, we really need. So we're looking forward to that. And there's a tax um, benefit as well, isn't there? Yes, yes. Yeah. And um, uh, our initial goal, and uh, hopefully we can still, we, we, we will fulfill it, is that uh, we, we, we want to encourage folks in Jamaica. Um, uh, I think we're talking about the high school. We listened to a high school festival um, competition some time ago. I think these people were uh, coincidentally from uh, Old Harbor. Okay. And a very good rendition. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, it made you get goosebumps. Mm -hmm. So these are individuals we're, we're, we're targeting at that high school level to, to, to assist in, in, uh, uh, with, in a monetary way mm -hmm. so that our foundation can start from there. Uh, you never know. Those same folks may one day migrate and be here and be able to you know, be a part of this. So we, we're focusing on that in terms of giving back because in in life uh you can't keep stretching your hand out yes. uh without giving back that's why god gave us gave us two hands yes. one is to give and one is to receive um so so we're looking forward to that um so jiffc um and then travels we, we intend to be traveling in the future i should have been in canada recently but that did not pen out i want to be there with you uh in london and um we're going to be traveling and spreading our, spreading the word, spreading the JII FSC um, intention and um, making the world a better place. Excellent. And uh, as I said, we, we're certainly going to support you all the way. I, I think it's a, it's a great, great initiative and it really, it really fits to and aligns with all the activities that we've got in mind for the overall Homeward Bound uh, program. Yes, so, I'll be there with you in Jamaica also. Remember, we'll be there together in Jamaica. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so um, so before you go, um, can you just remind us, when does the competition open? That's, I think that's going to be important for people as well. When can they start for next year? Uh, oh, sorry, what was the question, Rudy? When, when will the competition open? Oh, okay, well... Um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll be making another announcement right now. We're just trying to get the, okay. the website revamped okay. um, so we can direct them uh, to the new entrance forms. Oh, um, okay. we, we'll be tweaking the, um, the, the, the rules a, a, a bit yeah. um, just to make sure, you know, there's a clarity and, you know, there, there, are, no, there are no ambiguities. Um, so uh, within another, before the year is up, before January 1st, 
we will have all that information and we'll be um, directing folks to go there because this time around, the second time around, it gives them an opportunity to really get their music together. 60 years of independence is, is a feat that, that not many countries have seen. Um, so we're looking forward to that and we'll communicate through your show, the Wayne All Show and other mediums uh, when that time comes. In, in, in fact, what we'll do is that uh, when you're ready, we'll, we'll invite you back on the show and okay. I'm happy for us to go through it, you know, very clearly so people really understand the pro the process we'll rebroadcast it on fresh fm radio radio london and as you mm -hmm. say wayne, wayne hall's show i'm sure he'll carry it we also have donovan longmore's show rebroadcasting on fresh fm on tuesdays that's the reggae journey show so there's an alignment between all of these uh, shows so i think your your content deserves to be in all three shows as well as the general uh, Fresh FM broadcasting. So great and very well done and look forward to seeing you again soon. Yeah, Rudy, and it's always a pleasure to, uh, for you to meet you like this and um, look forward to meeting you in person. And um, again, the Jamaica International Independence Foreign Song Competition is live and well. Thank you and good night. Good night. <laughs>